This is Twit. The backbone controller for iPhone. Um, it's a controller that goes around your phone and it's basically a high quality gaming device that also kind of works as an app store slash launch pad home screen thing. So in a lot of game consoles, if you're not familiar with it, most of them, their home access area has just like all the different games that you want to play and things like that. And so what Backbone does is it's a lightning um, controller. So when it's plugged in, it now has basically a way for they have a big orange button on the front that the, that's their brand and it will take you from anywhere right into the game selection menu. So it's kind of like a like an Xbox console. It's like a big base. old PSP. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it lets you basically set up like, oh, I want to do Xbox remote play or PlayStation remote play or any of the USB supported apps. Um, so it's pretty impressive. It's it's good is <laughs> one of the biggest things is I have another one that's a little <laughs> clip on. I have another uh, iPhone remote or controller and they're just low quality like this feels like an Xbox controller. And that's one of the biggest things, especially if you are into games, is you just don't want to play with cheap hardware because it doesn't match what you're normally used to. Um, it's got like a headphone jack, got USB-C charging on it because it does need a little bit of power, but I don't even, I have no concept of when it'll need that because it's generally fine. Um, but it seems really cool. There's a couple articles out about it that's just like, this is the future of mobile gaming is this kind of thing for an, for an iPhone specifically. These are just really good. Um, they've got screenshot capabilities. I do think it was designed for Fortnite and Fortnite is not on the app store because um, they're having a little fight with Apple still. Um, but it's got support for Call of Duty mobile, which I guess has been pretty big because they made it also actually decently good instead of a bad mobile version. But um there's a couple Apple Arcade games in there, too, that are pretty interesting. I need to test it more with Remote Play because I think my network is slightly... I have, like, a poor cable going upstairs, and so I don't know if my network is powerful enough up here to work the way that I want it to, um, just, like, super low latency. But it'll be interesting to see. Like, I've seen Federico Vitici of Mac Stories was like, I'm playing Halo on my iPhone. And just some of that stuff is incredibly cool. So if you're trying to play games outside of having a dedicated television, or especially when during the pandemic people are all using the same devices, you can get remote play on your phone or good mobile gaming experience with this. And it's it's only ninety nine bucks. Like it feels like it should almost be like two hundred dollars, but then I'd complain about how it's overpriced. So I'm really surprised that it's actually it seems like the right price in version one and not like four years later or something like that. So if you're into it, it's definitely worth checking out. Sweet. 